I just finished sewing up this pattern here, McCall's 8019, and I made view B. And this is it right here. It has the pockets and everything. And I already made a video on this jacket. Now, when I was cutting out this jacket, it called for a lining. And I had plenty of this fabric here. So I made the lining. And this is what was supposed to be the lining. But I didn't end up putting it in the jacket because it started to stretch out as I was trying to sew it into the jacket. So since I had this left over, I decided, well, maybe I'll just make another jacket. And this time I want to add a hood to it. And the hood calls for lining. So I want to use this piece of fabric here to cut out the actual fashion fabric for the outside. And then I want to use it also to sew out the lining piece. And I think I should have enough. I have another piece over here which is a lot bigger but what I want to do with this is go ahead and make like a skirt since I'm gonna make a hooded jacket I think that a skirt would look really cute with this so that's the plan so I'm in Joanne fabrics with my scrap fabric here and I want to get some thread I really like Guterman Oh, that's a pretty good match. Let me see. Um, looks like... Um, I guess I could go with either this one or this one. They match pretty well. I guess I'll take the one that's in my hand. Now I need to go look at a zipper. I think I want to get a metal zipper this time. And I'm actually wearing the jacket. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's see if we can find a metal zipper. I need it to be about 27 inches long. Oh, look like here's one here. Let me show you what I'm looking at. So, let's find one that somewhat matches. 24, 27. Here's a 27 inch. It doesn't match perfectly, but of course, I learned with this jacket that I'm wearing now that it doesn't have to. So, let's see here. I don't see any other longer lengths. 27 extra long. I guess this will be the one I'll go ahead and get because I don't see anything else. I see 24. 20. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, I will go ahead and get this. So I was on my way home, I'm driving. I happened to look through the bag and realized I got the wrong zipper. I need a separating zipper. This is a metal zipper, extra long. It says pillows and craft projects, but it doesn't separate. So I'm on my way back to the store. Oh, I'm so glad I happened to look in the bag and realized before I got all the way home that I had the wrong zipper. So I ended up returning it. And now what I'm going to do is just go to a Hobby Lobby because there's a Hobby Lobby that's really close to here. So I'm just going to go over there and hopefully they will have a zipper that I need. I need it to be 27 inches long. And at this point, I may just go for a plastic one even though I prefer, <clears throat> oh excuse me, I prefer having a metal one this time around. However, if they don't have the one that I want at Hobby Lobby, then I think I will just go ahead and just order one online and then I'll get like a metal one. But again, I'll have to guess with the color and hope that it will look okay. Okay, here we are. Let's see what they have. They don't have very many zippers. Let's see here. Extra long. I don't know if this is a separating zipper or not. It's just extra long. This one doesn't separate either, so I cannot find one that is what I need. Well, so since I, I can't find the zipper that I need in the right color and the right size, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and order it online again. 
So this project will have to be put on hold for a little bit. I am hanging outside of SoFi Stadium. This is actually where the Super Bowl was held this year. And it's really pretty. There's water over here. So I'm actually gonna go over here and take a look at it. We have plans to do a tour of the stadium. And we got here a little bit early, so that gives me time to chat with you all and give you an update. So I ordered a new zipper on Amazon. And instead of buying a zipper that was like brown and trying to match up the different colors, I just decided to go with an off-white kind of beige color. So I think that that will be just fine. And I had enough fabric left over to make like a skirt. So I was thinking I would do a jacket and a skirt set. But the more I started thinking about it, I don't wear skirts that much. So I think I'm going to change and make a bodysuit instead. Let me show you the water now that I'm a little bit closer. So yeah, I think that a bodysuit and a jacket will be something that I can see myself wearing a little more often. I have on one of my Simplicity sewing makes. It's the top that has the one sleeve in and then the one sleeve out. This is my first time really wearing this top. So I found a place that we can go to get like snow cone, oh, shaved ice. It's called Snowball Shop and it's actually 4.3 miles away. So that'll be good. You down? You down? I thought you were blogging. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get you in there. No, Just I don't your want, voice. I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> you really don't want your voice out? We've already talked about <laughs> it. <laughs> so you want me to take your voice out? Of course. <laughs> Whatever. I'm leaving it. <laughs> I just made an unplanned stop at Joanne Fabrics. So I was out running errands and I ran past this Joanne Fabrics, which is a different one from the other one that I had gone to before. So I was like, let me stop in here and see if they have a zipper because I have been waiting and waiting and I still haven't received my zipper from Amazon. It said that it's shipped, but I'm just getting a little anxious and I'm ready for it to be here. So. I decided to just stop in here. And another reason why I stopped is because the pattern calls for a 27 inch zipper, which is what I ordered online. But I forgot that the lining is cut shorter than the actual fashion fabric. So I actually will need a shorter zipper. So once the other zipper comes in from Amazon, if I decide to use that one, I would have to shorten the zipper by pulling out some of the teeth. So I thought, huh, let me just stop in here and see if they have one that's shorter. 
Well, I ended up getting this zipper here, which is 24 inches and it is in the color dogwood, which is kind of a brown color. It is separating, so I made sure of that this time. So I'm gonna see if this will work, and if it doesn't, I'll just you know continue to wait for the other one to come in from Amazon. Okay, so if this works out, then I think it will look really nice because the gold color in here is kind of similar to the actual color of the fabric. So I think that that will look nice together so let me see if this is going to be long enough oh i gotta take the staple out of here oh there okay i got it oh i kind of don't like it but maybe once it's in there it'll be okay I'm gonna go with it because I really don't have any other options at this point and I don't want to order another zipper and wait and do all that again so I think I can make this work the jacket is done I need to press it and then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my second piece which is a bodysuit With this leftover fabric, I am going to make this 2017 bodysuit pattern. I want to make view C. And here is the line art. I really like how it crosses over in the front. And then it has a center back seam down the back. I have made this bodysuit before and I've actually made view C before. So this will be the second time that I'm making that view. And I have all the pieces cut out and pressed and now I'm ready to cut the fabric out and get started. So I just laid out all the pattern pieces and I don't have enough for the sleeves, which is okay. So I'm going to make this bodysuit sleeveless. I remember when I first made this bodysuit in view C that I was just a little bit confused on step number four. So what you do is you sew the neckband piece on. And then step number four is where you attach the left front piece to the right front piece. So after you sew the neckband on, you will have something that looks like this. And this is the right front piece. So it will be finished like this. And then you take your left front piece and you are going to make sure that the right front piece is folded down. So have it folded down like this. And then you take the left front piece and just lay it right over the right front finished edge. So this finished edge is going to be like sandwiched in between. So you just lay this piece over it and then you have dots that you match up from here this dot here matches up and there's a dot on this end here which matches up to the dot on that end and then you sew that down and then when you flip it over it should look something like this i decided to use some single fold bias tape to close off the armhole edges and the bodysuit is pretty much all done. I do like to use snap tape in the crotch area. It has the snaps already positioned where they should go and you just sew around the edges to attach the snap tape to the opening in the crotch of the bodysuit. The last thing that I am going to do is to top stitch this little edge here down. I tried the bodysuit on and this little finished edge was flipping out. So I am just going to top stitch this down just because I think I will like it better that way if it lays flat. It's all sewn down now. 
it won't come up anymore and I like it a lot better and here is just a closer view so you can see how it looks close up guess what I got in the mail today my zipper of course of course it would come after I already finished the project but I want to show you what I got so I purchased this white zipper or it's off-white with the gold the good thing is though I don't have to worry about taking any of the teeth out and I can always keep it and save it for another project So my love share is this product that I recently purchased and it is a wireless charging stand. You can charge your AirPods on the bottom and your phone on the top. You just snap your phone onto the charger. You can change the orientation. You can also place your phone on the bottom if you would like to charge it there. It's nice because you can have your phone sitting up if you're doing FaceTime or if you're doing Zoom. And the other thing that I like about it is that I was able to charge my phone right through the case. I have truly been enjoying this little charger. I will put a link in the description if you're interested in getting one.